What's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, the sun getting y'all in it. All right, there we go. Hope y'all having a good morning, day, night, evening, whatever time it may be that you're watching this video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so today, I'm excited. Uh, me and Brielle are actually about to go. Sorry, let me get this. Uh, the International Motorcycle Show uh, is here in Dallas this weekend. So we're actually about to go check that out tonight. So if all y'all don't know, you ever heard me say before, I did ride uh, or used to ride motorcycles. I had my motorcycle endorsement and everything like that. I rode for two or three years, I believe. And the reason I stopped riding is basically because I had a motorcycle accident. I had two, actually. First one was my fault. I was new to riding. Uh, I was basically following Brielle one day and she was going a different direction than I was. And at the last minute, I realized I was going the wrong way. I was trying to get on the interstate and realized I didn't need to. I was trying to, so I tried to get back off and my foot kind of clipped the curb and that threw me out balance and knocked me down. I went over, I fell on that one. Uh, even though I was only going like 20 miles an hour on that one, man, it tore through my shoes. I always make sure you got riding boots. I was able to ride home fine, uh, and I think I hurt my knee a little bit. And then the second accident I had was probably the worst one, the one that was uh, basically totaled my bike and everything too. Uh, I was going down the highway, me and a buddy riding, uh, my best friend, and basically my bike was a 90, 96 or 99ZX9R. Uh, so it was an older bike, and basically the rod, push rod or something like that, the guy said, blew or broke while I was riding. And when it happened, it punctured the engine. And so the engine started leaking oil. So it's nighttime, I didn't notice. I just lost power, realized something going on with the bike. I didn't know what. Tried to slow down. And when I did that, I hit the brakes. And once I hit the brakes, oil was leaking when that rod punctured the engine. I didn't know that. So when I hit the brake, oil was all over my back tire. And next thing you know, shh, boom. You know, so I went tumbling down the interstate. I think I was going about 50 or so then. I, I was slowing down, but I was going about 50. And luckily, I was working my way towards the um, towards the side of the highway. So when I actually when I fell, I actually ended up just rolling off to the side of the interstate. So my bike and everything landed against basically on the side shoulder of the interstate. So thankfully, I wasn't in the middle because somebody probably would have ran me over. You know, but uh, yeah, so. That totaled my bike. Uh, that was probably that was my worst accident on that one. I had on jeans, tights, riding boots, riding jacket, everything. Thank God I did helmet. Man, if I didn't have that stuff on, I probably wouldn't be talking to y'all today. I'm for real. So if you riding a bike, man, make sure you got your helmet, your gear, your boots, everything. You know they say uh, dress for the slide, not the ride. The slide being in case you fall. Don't dress for the ride. If it's hot outside, I know a lot of people like to wear shorts and t-shirt. Man, if it's hot, man, I'm still put that gear on, man. I'm telling you, cause it's gonna save your life, save mine. So, uh, my helmet cracked, hit the hit, hit my head pretty good. Uh, my jacket tore through my jacket, tore through my jeans. I had road rash on my hip butt, pretty good. Uh, I had road rash on my shoulder or arm, I believe, somewhere else. Can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, my ankle, I messed my ankle up pretty bad. Didn't break anything, cause I had the boots on. But my ankle today still bothers me it's not the same you know i don't have the range of motion i used to um but i was on crutches i was in i was on crutches for like two months uh without a break it was just a bad sprain i was in a walking boot for months and yeah so that's why i don't have a bike anymore but after that accident i did ride again um and i'm not gonna lie the first time i got back on i was super scared man super nervous super scared but i overcame my fear and i got back on the road again and uh yeah so i still have a love and passion for motorcycles now brielle don't like it um that first accident i told you all about when i clipped the interstate following her and fell uh well not following her just going the wrong way or whatever she actually saw that so you know it kind of scared the mess out of her so i understand why she don't like me to ride motorcycles uh, but like i said i still got a passion for it i still love it i do want another motorcycle um so yeah so that's what we're going today going to the motorcycle show and yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this footage. I'm on my way to pick up Brielle right now. And yeah, we'll talk to see y'all when we get there and look at some of the bikes. So it's two days later from that last video y'all just saw. Uh, me and Brielle was on our way to the motorcycle show. The traffic was terrible. Um, I didn't want to miss the show. And we got there, only been like an hour left before it was done or closed. So um, we didn't go. So I'm going today, it's Sunday. I'm going with a friend of mine. You know, he rides a motorcycle as well. He was actually with me on those two accidents. On that one accident, my last accident I told y'all about, he was there. I was riding with him, we was riding together. 
Well, not on the same bike, but just out riding. He had his, I had mine. I forgot to mention this. In that accident I had my motorcycle, um, when a cop got on the scene, I talked to her after I was okay. She actually told me that they reported me as a dead body. She said like code 1044. So she was like, she was like, yeah, when I got there, I was expecting to see a dead body. I'm like, what you mean? She was like, well, you reported as a 1044, which means dead body. So I'm telling y'all, man, wear that gear. I'm blessed to be here. But make sure y'all wear that gear, man. And that was your Q-tip of the day. But we'll see y'all when we get over to the, uh, to the event. So we made it to the event. I ain't even introduced y'all. What's up, man? What's up, man? Homeboy the world, so. <laughs> so look at this, so we just got here to Dallas. And they actually got free motorcycle park. Look at that behind me. All the way across. We gotta get our bikes back. Yeah, we do. This Ducati. Look at the Ducati. That red one right there. No, no. You, see you don't like that Ducati? No, I do. You see this green Harley with the diamond seat? What? Oh, that's right, right here. Oh, oh these two and, and the black one next to it. Oh, I wanna go out there now. <laughs> He said, Can we go out there? Can we go out here? Yeah, you can go out here. What though? Hey, so we'll go outside real quick and look at some of these bikes. Hold on, you by my side, my height too. I was worried about getting one because, you know, I was like, Man, I can take things too. You know what? Work. You, you can buy them new, but there's this one website uh, on Facebook, Graham, uh, Grom Z125 Group. Okay. People are selling them all the time for like two grand. What do you want to sign? I was going to do Zaddy Drive. Who? Zaddy yeah. Drive. Oh my gosh. She <laughs> said she liked that. That's fun because it's fun. It was an accident. Yeah. Laid it down. Hey, Greg, you don't have one for his head, dude. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Appreciate it, Greg. <laughs> Look who got hungry. This fool got hungry, man. So, sucks being on a diet at a bit like this, man. So now we got a little, at least they got salads, though. I'm actually surprised they got salads. Got Chef salad, Chef salad. We're gonna get something healthy, man. Got some fruit cups. I'm gonna grab, probably grab a fruit cup as a snack and keep it moving. See the smile on the face, man. That's the thing about riding, man. That's when you ride, man. It's a constant smile on your face. He thought the he thought the bike was light light. It's heavy, heavy. Yeah, it's a yeah, no pressure on your back, man. Bree can sit back that comfortably. We can go on a road trip. Ain't that right, Bree? I miss him. I miss him. Ain't gonna lie, yours. Yeah. Fastest bike I ever rode. Yeah, man. Twist the throttle, this is how much prices of helmets are. They not cheap, but they range. You don't want your helmet. That's what they say. What they say. That's the thing that's gonna protect the most important part of your body. So you don't want to go cheap on a helmet. How you doing? Six seven nine. This Alpine boots. Hey, these kind of boots I'm looking at next time, bro. These kind of boots I'm looking at. Some more. Yeah, more, yeah. Shoes. Appealing, yeah. But this one I had, that probably saved my ankle though when I was in action.
Oh, what is this? I haven't seen uh, this before. Uh, company's Energica. Uh, this is yeah. the EVA. It's our Street Fighter style type. You get a rip one more time? <laughs> so it's like instant torque, like a Tesla and all that as well? Yeah. That's pretty cool. This future, man. The future is here. Put your feet up on this thing, man. It's a little comfortable. It's good. Yeah, it's feel comfortable. It feels comfortable though. I don't know. I feel like I want to lean back a little bit on this. Like I need something sitting up to support my back. Support your back? Yeah. No, look at this on this bike, bro. You get everything, dude. Phone. Navigation. Yeah, dog. <laughs> dog, that is crazy. You can do sport mode. It's touch screen. Yeah, it's touch screen. Oh, wow. Oh, that is dope. Oh. You got tire pressure. I ain't know they had all this in motorcycles. It is a good sticker. Man, so let's go wrap the video up. Hope y'all enjoyed the motorcycles content. Got my first tattoo, man. Can't believe I did that. Tatted it up. <laughs> so uh, that's all I got. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.